the 2015 Crush. The major thing about the board is that when I was asked to design it, what I really wanted to do was I wanted to try to accomplish getting a board that works for the beginner rider, but also getting a board that works for the advanced rider. And there really hasn't been a board that's been able to do that. So on a heel side edge, what you're doing is you're sitting back against the boat. But on a toe side edge, we have to cross our feet over and lean against the line, and we're not biomechanically correct. So it's hard for us to deal with the forces. What I wanted to do was come up with a design that allowed us to stand more biomechanically correct. So on the toe side edge of the board, we have a longer, deeper fin that's off to the side of the board. What that does is it allows you to hold your toe side edge a lot easier, keeps the board true up the way. On the heel side edge, we have a shallower fin that still gives us a track, but it allows us to pre-turn on spinning tricks. On our heel side edge, we have a steeper sidewall, and what that does is it allows the board to carry its speed a little better and tracks. On our toe side edge, we have a more relieved top edge, and that allows us to hold our edge with less effort. On the center of the board, what we have is more of a rounded bottom edge, and what that does is it allows the board to transition. So when you're going from one edge to another and your board has to pass underneath you, it transitions smoother under you. I think the best way to describe this rocker is what we were looking for is we were looking for stability, we were looking for low drag, but we were looking for a good pop, a consistent pop. So what we have is we have a real user-friendly type rocker that starts early but gives you a really big sweet spot. Thanks for taking the time to listen to uh, the story about the Bolt. Whether you're just getting into wakeboarding or heading to the U.S. Masters, check out these additional features.